Hey, what's up, guys? Today I want to talk about Monofina and the comparisons to the JP side version when there's a s small significant amount. But first of all, you can already tell by going to her chaining moves here, the JP side. These are, oops. These are only 5 times and 15 times max. On the global side, there are 7 times. For 16 times max. Already, that's a huge improvement. Next, uh, she's able to get podcast for four turns, as opposed to only two turns on the on the JP side. It was a very big improvement. That was our biggest weakness. Then the next thing that I noticed was. The modifier in this last cooldown year got increased to 20 instead of 10. I don't really see a point in that. Because, uh, I don't know. But she's able to get those moves for a lot longer. One more turn as opposed to two. So that's pretty good, right? And then, unfortunately, their cooldown is still the same <laughs> other than higher modifier maybe two more for each but still it doesn't really mean anything because it's all one hit moves so and you can make her into a finisher i guess there's really not really a good finisher honestly in my opinion that be used as a finisher guys pretty much all of her mods it looks like they've increased by by a significant amount Except for the ones up here, uh, the Impera ones, and obviously she doesn't have her boss buffs yet, or whatever enlightening thing yet on the global side. Hopefully they'll be better. Also, I also want to say already, guys, that the main problem I have with her is this kind of the same problem I had with her since before. She's locked to her bow. The TMR can't really boost bows that much with magic, so you have to use generic ones. You need to use a lot of magic uh, TGH with her since she can only equip the bow really. She gets passives from bows, so it becomes kind of hard to do that as well. So there's that as well. And then, on top of that, guys, we got tons of mages coming to the game soon. Tons of mages coming into the game, so uh, after this, there's gonna be like CG Terra, Soul, X Death, global exclusive mages, you know. So, like, it's it's hard to, for me to consider, you know, she's calculatedly the strongest damage dealer before she even reaches the game yet. She has now reached the game, she's in game right now. I just feel like she's gonna be, uh, passed up or yeah she's gonna be passed up pretty much immediately as soon as those other mages come into the game because they will also receive buffs sure otherwise no one will pull for them right so let's look at the passives real quickly they look pretty much the same other than it gets in the avian arrow it looks like she gets uh 25% more bird killer. This is really very, it's very niche. Birds are very niche in the game, so. So she has, actually has 50% uh, bird killer in her kit now. And. Sorry for the sniffling, it's really early in the morning for me. I'm sorry. Doesn't look like she gets much else. My opinion, it looks like uh, everything else is pretty much the same. Oh, she gets uh, two limpers cards from the, from the last passive. That's nice. Also, also she gets modifiers from. Looks like most of her abilities. Limpers. It's the same. Same cost, same everything, so that's, that's okay. 
the unlockable abilities are a lot stronger, but yeah, they're significantly stronger. I wouldn't really use them because they're not stacking, but they can finish the chain, and they can like they can finish their own chain. Kind of like Caillou, but it's magic based, so she came to to popularize it. But CG Terra is the one who really started that trend for magic yes wave chaining and she'll be here in the coming months as well so keep in mind for that there, like I said there's a lot of mages coming to the game guys so gotta keep that in mind guys so what do you think she were 24 her sprite alone is really good I like the sprite more than the unit really the kit is just yeah it's just another chaos wave chainer guys and there's going to be tons of those coming to the game, like I said. Like, there's tons of them coming to the game soon. So it makes me hard, it makes it hard for me to rec recommend pulling for her when they've, you've got so many coming very soon. you got to use quite a bit of resource to get her because the step up is slightly expensive. I mean, it is, it's generous, but it's expensive as well. So keep that in mind, guys, if you do want to go for her for some reason. And uh, I think that'll be it, guys. Um, let, me know, let me know what you guys think about her, or just if you're going to be staying for someone else. And please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please like, and let me know, again, let me know what you guys think. Or just by any units that you're trying to save for, like Soul. I know there's some people in the chat who say they were saving for Soul. That's good. It'll be good on release for a, while, for a long while. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.